welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. And this is Terry, if you can see him. Maybe yes. you can't. He's we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you're notified when we upload. We try to upload at least on Wednesday and Fridays. Yes. And today we're doing a get ready with us. We seem to, like, we love these videos and you guys seem to love these videos. Yeah. And we actually have been on a little, like, spending spree. Yeah. At least I have, maybe. I Well, I'm too. returning one thing, but I'm trying this on camera. Yeah. I, yeah, I did return some things. Um, But I have, like, quite a few new makeup products to try and then some old things that I pulled out, too. So let's get into it. Okay, for foundation, I mean, and like, as always, we'll link everything below if we, like, forget to talk about it, but I'm just going in with the trusty Neutrogena. Yeah, I've been wearing Neutrogena, like, every day, so I pulled out the Luminous Silk, which is my favorite foundation, but it is quite expensive, so I try not to use it, but I thought, why not, you know? It's Saturday. But I told you, I got that little one, and it's lasted me quite some time, and I did bring yeah. for just the big size so I don't run out, but... Yeah, I was going to get the big size and use me. my, like, $10 at Sephora after I ran out of this. Oh, and I wanted to mention on my face under this foundation, I'm, using oh, I'm breaking filter. out, which is like so frustrating, but um, we both tried the new Wander Beauty primer. I'm using with... flawless filters around my cheekbones. I was going to do that, but I feel like the primer kind of made me glowy. Sorry, I dropped my beauty sponge on the ground and then it had hair on it from the dogs. <laughs> so I had to wash it quick, but we're all good. But I was saying that I used the Wander Beauty Primer. It's like an all-in-one primer SPF, and it's a mineral SPF, SPF of 40. There was like no white cast. It had a slight tint, but it blended out to nothing. First impressions are very positive on that. We are confused though. Um, I mean, we work in the industry and the zinc and the titanium dioxide percentage is really low. Yeah. Um, so we're... Well, I'm I mean, working we, on a project right now. Yeah. With an SPF 40, and it has the zinc at like one or two percent, like yeah, this one. Yeah, the same thing. I know the that same there's thing. like other blockers you can add. Yeah, there's basically like additives that aren't marketed as chemical blockers that brands like will add into the product to up the SPF claim without having to increase the zinc because obviously that then, you know, makes the white cast worse. Um, so those can be like sensitizing. And I don't mm -hmm. know the names off the like the the ingredients yeah. off the top mm -hmm. of my head. But that, that has to be what they're doing. Yeah, here. this had a pretty long ingredient list, so yeah. I'm sure that is. By the way, we're drinking our Reed's ginger ale. Yeah, out of wine glasses. Mm -hmm. It's the best. We talked about the Reed's ginger ale. We'll link it down below. It's so good. Not to mention, it's 88 degrees today, which is too hot for me. I've talked about this at length, how I don't like the heat. Um, and it's like way too hot for May, in my opinion. But we have a lot to do today, so I feel like we'll be inside most of the day anyway. And... Um, we have our best friend visiting next week, and we're so excited. Yes. And she lives in Indiana, and then some more friends from San Diego are hopefully coming up as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of want it to be hot. I feel like it'll be, like, maybe not this hot. It's not going to be as hot, which is okay, nice. Okay, but, like, I still think it'll nice, be, like, upper right? 70s. Okay, yeah, that'll yeah. be um, <clears throat> So I'm going to use the Say Beauty Concealer. I feel like this is, like, a polarizing product at this point. So I picked it up because I couldn't stand not knowing... <laughs> Like, what yeah. the deal was, I do think the shade range is, like, abysmal. I actually don't understand why they only launched. I think it's eight shades. Like, I I don't understand. But regardless, that is what they did. And I picked up shade two because from ever, all the swatches, one seemed so light and two seemed too dark and too pink. But I was like, honestly, I'll just go with a little bit too dark. It is too dark for me. And I wish there was a shade that worked for me. But, alas, there is not right now. So I really just want to try the formula, um, but I'm going to talk about everything. So first of all, I don't like this packaging. Um, I, I guess, I, okay, I don't mind the packaging, but the wiper is too small for the applicator, in my opinion. Like we said, we work in this business, and I, that's a pretty easy change um, to open the orifice of the wiper. And maybe this doesn't bother other people, but I find that it's a little hard to get out. And then I have to go in multiple times to get enough product, and I just... Did you say that one did that too? Sanitary. Yeah, this one, it, like, look, there's no friction. Oh, so the, the wipers, opposite. the opposite. Yeah, so, um, it's fine, but, like, you know, not preferred. And then the applicator, I feel like, is a little too hard. Like, I wish it was more flocked. And this, again, this is me being Yeah, this one's not flocked at all. But, um, I feel like, you know, there's so many good concealers now, so I'm trying to be, like, picky. Um, so, yeah, see, I just have to go in, like, every time, and I'm not used to that. I feel like most concealers, you can kind of, like you know, spread it on. Like, the Kosas concealer is my favorite, and I feel like that applicator 
has the perfect amount of flocking and you can like get the perfect amount of product on. Um, this is more sheer, I feel like, than the Kosas, like not as much coverage. And it, I never had the Touche Claw, whatever that's called, right? Uh -huh. But I feel like it has a similar, it's like a similar concept because it does, you probably can't tell, but it does like have so much luminosity. Like I definitely think there's like pearl in it um, mm -hmm. to like really brighten your under eyes. I try to leave it on a bit longer so that the coverage kind of like amps up. Um, and, oh, okay. It to be fair, really thin. Yeah, it's very thin. And so I also settle? will say I don't. So I ordered Brita Sponge because I um, saw a girl on TikTok say that she didn't like this pie with fingers or a brush, but she liked it with a sponge. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm not a sponge girl, but I liked it. Um, but I, like, I can't use sponges anymore. I tried it, and I was just like, I don't like how my makeup looks at all. So I think I'm just going to have to use a brush. Yeah, but use a brush and then go over with a sponge. I did like that. I, I just did not like how it looked. So maybe I just That's don't so dramatic. Like, I don't know. I'm just not going to change it. I'm such a brush person you now. Can't, you can't have the sponge be too damp. That's probably what you're doing I used to dry because I hated how it looked damp. Oh my god. Anyways, so just that morning is some people are saying they like it better with a sponge, but I really I can't use sponges anymore. Terry, come around this way. Um so I'm gonna blend it out with my brush and yeah, it is very thin and on I I'm really conflicted on this actually because I was actually surprised how long it lasted considering it's such a like luminous thin found like concealer. It's not even very emollient, but it's creamy. Um, but like yesterday when I wore it, I like I haven't makeup on. Oh my god, I haven't makeup on for a long time, and I like didn't mind how this looked at the end of the day. But I my only I actually like okay I liked how it looked at the end of the day. Like my under eyes still looked luminous and bright, and I've never really had a concealer like brighten my under eyes so well. And the shade again is too dark for me. So to like have something brighten that's too dark for you, like it's just the formula. It's like so luminous. Um, but I want like a little more coverage. Yeah, I think I would hate that personally. Yeah, so I'm conflicted if I'm going to return it or not. I've worn it three times now. Um, so I think I just have to keep wearing it and like testing it out. And it does crease a little bit. Overall, what I'm getting at is like I really actually love the luminosity and I'm surprised by how much I liked the finish but I still prefer the Kosas formula more. So I'm just trying to figure out what my plan is with this. But I am, um, just if you were wondering, I like as usually, so the Fit Glow Concealer is usual. The Fit Glow Concealer is too light for me. Um, so I usually just tend to mix it with my one size light four. And I mixed them on the back of my hand and applied it with my Rare Beauty brush because then I tend to like use less product that way. And since it's so hot out, I don't want to like use too much product today. Oh, um, I went to go get my eyelash curler and got distracted earlier. It's not time for that. I know, I just realized. I'll have oh. to get it later. Um, and then I'm using the Beauty Pie contour wand just to add some color um, before going in with my blush. One more thing. This isn't a huge deal, and so I switched Renee's to like the second strongest because I was second strongest. So zero point zero five. Oh no, there's still two more that are stronger than. Okay, that. well whatever it is, I went up a, a notch in Renee, so my skin's been a little more sensitive. But the Say concealer does burn slightly when I first put it on, but then it goes away. And I remember the Maybelline concealer. You see that? Too? Yes, the me Fit too. Me concealer, and I love that concealer too. That one was worse, like more of a burning feeling. So maybe it's just an ingredient in both that I like, do it. Because it does dissipate. And I didn't notice any irritation on my under eyes. But I just wanted to call that out. Okay, I'm using... And I'm not being a hater. I actually do think this formula is better than I expected. Like, it's it's nice. I'm just, you know, pros and cons. Um, the Tower 28 West Coast Bronzer. I haven't used this in so long. And I just, like, felt like, oh, I should pull that out because it's such a summer bronzer because it's, like, literally so shimmery. And it it looks pretty red on me. Um, and I just felt like using it today. So, going with that. Okay, so now I'm applying the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Believe. I recently got this. I'm filming, like, a reel simultaneously. So, I basically dab one dot on the back of my hand. That's, like, all you need. And then I use this Real Techniques 405 brush and I put it on the back of my hand and it's so easy to blend. Like people aren't lying when they say that these are pigmented because they are extremely pigmented. So like I said, you only need one dot. 
which also like this is like a really good bang for your buck then i kind of hate that saying but i feel like what is this 20 dollars? i think i think they're 20 dollars. and this would yeah. like last me my whole life um yeah the shade is so pretty just as i suspected i feel like so this is one of the i don't it's not new but newer shades from no there. it is like within a month i think oh really yeah, i think it's pretty new well the they released three, new three ones. yeah three Maybe shades two months but I'm, like going overboard because i just like th this is like such a summery spring cheek yeah, I just realized that the shimmer in this is really texturizing my forehead, so I should calm down, but I'm going to put one on my cheeks. <laughs> I also wanted to call out, because I want to link this post below, but if you guys saw Hilary Duff in the, is it the women's magazine? Women's Health. Health women's Health. There's body, yeah. make, like body edition. Her makeup in that shoot mm -hmm. was like flawless. Like the photos were so stunning. And her makeup artist listed all the products that she used which i have a lot of them and this was one of them the tower 28 bronzer yeah um it was like a very no makeup makeup look and so yeah that was another reason i was very inspired yeah. to pull this guy out so anyway i love this i i think that so makeup by kelly ann i mean everything she recommends i buy and i think that she had used it on a client and like posted the look and that's what kind of pushed me over the edge but then this shade i feel like more people have been taught like you know everyone's always liked the rare blushes but the shade specifically people were talking about as of late and i am so glad i got it because i feel like it's the perfect mauvey blush and i in terms of like liquid and cream blushes i don't really think i have anything like this the closest would probably be Ilia at last which i do still love but this formula is so nice like it actually i mean my face is pretty dewy because i haven't put powder on yet but it does dry down to a matte finish. It's so easy to blend. It doesn't look splotchy. And usually I hate liquid blushes because I can like never get them to work for me. But this formula is really great. So I'm so glad I got it. And I've been using it all week. I'm going to try to build up this concealer a bit more because for some reason it's really bothering me that the coverage is looking low today. Um, okay, now I'm going in with my Jacqueline Cosmetics powder. I know I talked about this. In some video i got it in sheer light i hate the packaging it's way too bulky but i love how this looks it has a lot of silicones in it so i just think it tends to like really smooth out the skin in a really like natural looking way and it does add like a luminosity to it so i'm going to use my like um beauty blender puff thing and i'm just going to take that in the cap it is like a again i hate hate the packaging um but i Her really packaging snobs if you can't looks. tell yeah i just think like they clearly well maybe this wasn't maybe this was like a stock jar and they yeah. tooled the cap yeah but ugh, it's like if you're using a brush it's fine but i do like to use this and you i can't travel with this it's way too bulky yeah and i love squares but for jars it's really yeah. hard to open can i use some of that sure i'm excited i've been wanting to try this yeah it's good i'm just gonna use my little brush okay hopefully that works I'm just, yeah i'm just gonna take some more for my forehead Ooh. Also, Britta cut trimmed my hair today. I Does did. it look okay? Well, well I, I, I also I also did. Um, we're getting our hair like recolored tomorrow. Yeah, and we're really excited. It's been five six months, right? Did we do that math? Did we say yeah, November? Here. Uh, November. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been six months. So it's been quite some time. We usually wait at least six months, um, but I feel like I don't know why. Like our roots are just really. I mean, you can tell we both have our hair in clips. Are really dark right now so it just felt like time and we're going to a new girl that was recommended so we hope we hope it turns out which is luck um but we both need haircuts and our friend grace cuts our hair and she's out of town and we didn't want to i don't know if you guys feel this way too but it seems like such a waste to like dye hair that you know you're going to cut off in like a couple of weeks and especially because the ends of her hair was like pretty bleached. Yeah. I felt like if she dyed it, it would have turned like white and fallen off anyways. Yeah. And then it might bad. make the whole like proportion look yeah. off. So Carly had cut mine like a couple weeks ago. And I did hers today. Yeah. Pre-appointment. Okay. As you can see, see the powder just like, it's just pretty. Do you like it? It just yeah, adds like a luminosity, like it. but it sets. It's really nice. Like I said, I think in whatever video that was. I think it's like the perfect spring summer powder. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think that, cause I went in so heavy with that bronzer, which is already so shimmery on my forehead. Uh -huh. I'm just having a lot of, yeah, that's why I love applying it with this. Cause it like packs it on, but it's like. Yeah, no, I think it was just my fault with the bronzer. Mm -hmm. Cause now my forehead looks a bit textured, but yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I might go in with a little bit of Kosas on top. Yeah, the Kosas is prop like more coverage, like I said. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, and then let's see, for bronzer, so I know I put on the contour wand, but I'm also going in with, oh, we also have to talk about this, the Bare Minerals Glowing Warmth from this palette, which is still like, you guys, this is my favorite eyeshadow ever, this flicker shade, it's probably my most used, my favorite eyeshadow of all time, and State of Kate, our friend on YouTube, um, she said that she heard Bare Minerals is no more, and I'm probably holding this really? in front of my face, sorry. Truly devastating. Well, she news. linked to the article. Did you oh, see? she did? Yes. So her follow up to that, um, what she said in her video was that she sent an article, but like the parent company, I can't remember the name right now, that bought Bare Minerals, Buxom, and Laura Mercier oh. is like kind of like taking the products off the market and rebranding all three. Okay, so they're coming back. They're coming back. Okay. And they said that the plan for Bare Minerals is to go back to their roots as a clean beauty because they were the first clean Okay, you know, brand. I like that because... I like that too. Like they kind of got derailed. in our Talc Free video. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's maybe what I talked about the powder in. In our Talc Free video, they've always been like Talc Free. And when I first like made this transition, like their blushes and their like powder products were some of the only products I could use. Well, and... Well, do they still make the original foundation? Because sometimes oh my gosh. I am so think, nostalgic. Yeah, I think about going and picking that up. Maybe I should I know. do that for like summer. Do you think that'd be so nice? Mm -hmm. Because that foundation served me so well for so many years. My skin looked good. Like we bought and it before we could even truly afford it. Yeah, we couldn't. We like bought the. We loved it. Didn't we buy the like the small size? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we were like. We would like save up all our money and go get it when we ran out. And yeah. I like loved it though. It was so good. Yeah. Um, that was when we were working at JCPenney and there was the Sephora inside JCPenney. Yeah, and we would go to Ulta that was right across the street. Yeah. Too. Yeah, good times. I, yeah, I love this bronzer too. I just love this palette. I think they still sell it. I know, again, really bulky packaging, but this is like a cheap palette and I find a lot of use out of it. Um, and then, yeah, I guess with right Buxom, they said the plan was to, like, really capitalize on the fact that, like, the plumping gloss is making a comeback. So mm -hmm. it sounds like all, like, through and through, they're trying to, like, relaunch these brands at, like, the core of what they were when they started. So hopefully Got Better it. Minerals is even, like, better when they relaunch it. I'm using Pat McGrath Fortacious, my new favorite blush. I love this stuff. I figure because that bronzer is so shimmery that uh, matte blush. Well, I mean, like I said, the Flirtatious has like a little bit of a glow, even though in the pan it looks completely matte, so I don't know how that works, but a matte blush. And I'm using the Bare Minerals Kiss of Pink Bronzer. I haven't used this shade yet, and I felt like it would pair with it's the... so good. I love it. It's my favorite of the three. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I felt like it would just pair well with the Believe, and I wanted to try it. Like, you don't need to use two blushes, obviously, but here we are. What do you think? Oh, you have it over Believe, though? Yeah. Okay, another super, like, exciting purchase that I got. I have been wanting, like, a one-and-done easy liquid or cream eyeshadow in a brown shade for a long time because I love matte groundwork, but that's so, like, sheer on me that sometimes it really doesn't show up. So, I wanted something a little bit darker. Okay, so I saw these on Ulta, the Rem Beauty Matte Liquid Shadows, and I thought this shade looked perfect, and it is. I really love these so far. It's the shade Heart. It's like, um, you know, it looks like a heart. I'll, I'll link it down below, but these are really, really good, and I love the components. Speaking of packaging, I think like this is like the perfect size to hold in your hand, mm -hmm. and it's, it's just like a really nice shape. Um, the wiper is nice. It's just a really good package. Um, and you don't need a lot of it, and it's actually, you know, like, I really liked the Rare Beauty formula. I talked about that, but I returned it because I didn't like the color. Um, and this one, it dries down way, like, not as fast as the Rare Beauty and basically every other liquid shadow I've tried, too. Like, you definitely have some play time, but then once it dries down, it's, like, a nice powdery finish, and it just looks like exactly what I wanted for my eyes. It's just, like a wash of like sort of like watercolor brown like that's all I wanted just like a sheer brown that you could like like I've worn this when I haven't worn mascara recently on weekdays when I just want like a little bit of color on my eyes and I just really like how it looks I will say that like groundwork um creases a bit less but overall because I have so many like I said like skin folds <laughs> in my eyes um that everything creases on me and honestly, like, this isn't bad at all. Like, comparatively, I'd say this is one of the better ones that I've ever tried in terms of creasing. And I, like, want to pick up another shade because I really 
really like this. And look at it, it's like so easy to blend out. And I don't, don't even really use a brush because I feel like, yeah, I want to try that. And I want to try the under eye primer. It's been getting good reviews. Oh, really? Yeah. Like from Rum Beauty? Yeah. Oh, under eye primer? Yeah, like to wear under concealer to help with like creasing. Oh, interesting. I didn't see that. Um, so yeah, I might, I might not even build it up. I'm kind of going for like a light face makeup today. I just put on the CoverGirl Brow Pencil and Patrick Ta Brow Elimination Gel. Actually, maybe I will build it up a little bit. The only thing is this cap is like a matte white, so it gets dirty, but it actually is like easy to clean off if that's something that bothers you. I just like wipe it off after I'm done using it and I haven't had any issues. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I'm doing something different today. I'm actually thinking it won't go with these like pinky cheeks today, but it is what it is. I'm going in with the Lethal Cosmetics singles that I have. So what shades do we have here? I think I'm gonna use, oh, what are these? I can't even, I never use these and I remember loving them, but I like always forget I have them. Same, I never use them either, but I remember really liking them too. Okay, I'm going in with Midway in the crease and then the green is called, how do I say this? Syncope? Um, and then I'm going to use this shadow from the Jackie Ina palette on my lid. It's like a yellowy green and I don't think I've ever used it. And I just wanted to do something different. I thought like green eyeshadow was a little bit different. So here, here we go. Well, the mid midway shade is like a norm, normal, like cool toned brown, um, which I remember loving. I'm going to just let that, like I said, it doesn't dry down very quickly. So I don't like putting mascara on until it's like dried down. Yeah, I love this liquid shadow. I'm like very happy I picked it up. Yeah, I had it in my cart. I just didn't, I didn't because I've been spending too much money. I have two, but you guys, they're only $16. Yeah. I feel like it's a good deal. I don't know what this fill weight is. Let me see. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't use- Four amount, anything. like that's big. Yeah. If it's like a lip size. Well, it could be a lip size. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. I hear what it says with this component. It's I must cute. admit that I was going to get either this or the About Face shadows. They've both been getting good reviews. Yeah. Um, and I almost ordered the About Face because they were on sale for about the same price. But I, this honest, I was drawn to this component. It sounds dumb. But the I was color like, is what drew me in. Yeah, and then the color too. Yeah, because there's a kind of like a pinky taupe as well that I almost got. But I really wanted brown. So I'm just happy I went with this because, and it's described as a warm brown. But I would say it's like pretty neutral. Like it's a little warm on me, but nothing like crazy. God, I look really shiny today. I don't love how I look, but that's okay. Um, what's it from? I don't know because, you know, that bronzer is very shimmery, but I didn't bring the bronzer in here and I feel like it's so shiny here. I don't know. Maybe I look better on camera. I think it's always like blown out a little on camera. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add some more powder because I'm feeling self-conscious about this. You always look kind of glowy. Yeah. It's just weird. It's, it's like right, look. It's like right in my cheeks. But yeah, I didn't put that bronzer there. So I mean, like I said, the powder adds like a sheen, but mm, not that much. Okay, it's just makeup. We actually talked about because we bought makeup by Kelly Ann her class. Yeah. Which one? We bought two. Oh yeah. So we bought the. She was doing a birthday sale for her birthday. And so we, during, well, before the sale, we bought the $20 class that was just the cool toned eye makeup look and like the ponytail tutorial. I thought it was like a great idea that she did like this two in one situation. Um, and I actually did. Well, she has like beautiful hair. I don't she think does. We could she does. Mm -hmm. But I, hair. yeah, but I think that it's a great, she, cause it's like a double ponytail. So for people like us oh, that have no hair, yeah. you put one on top of the other to make it look bigger. I liked that idea. For like a special event. I've seen people do that. Yeah. Well, she said it was that Chris Appleton guy. It was like his original tutorial that she made her own. Anyway. So, and I just, like the eye look was astonishing. It was like an all matte cool tone eye look. Yeah. Like, which is like our dream. Yes. Mama. Like needed it immediately. I'm um, using the Beauty Pie Uber Volume Mascara. I love this stuff. And I've just been going really light handed with it. And I like the look. I guess I'm going kind of like light makeup today. I like it though. This is like this green shadow is really pigmented. So I'm trying to be light handed. It's a little bit patchy, but like you can't really tell unless you're up close like me, but it's a beautiful shade. And it's yeah. like truly blending out into this midway, midday. I don't know, I'll link it down below. Um, shade really nicely. Anywho, so we bought Kellyanne's class and like haven't watched, well I did watch part of the eyeshadow portion cause it wasn't that long. 
and I just like wanted to see what it was like. And then like the next week she did a sale for her back to basics or all her courses. So then I was like, Carly, we have to get the back to basics because everyone talks about it. Like she gets yeah, so many good true. reviews um and it was on sale so we got that one but that's obviously like a much longer class because she goes over complexion eyes like everything basically so i think it's like an hour so i think we're gonna try to do, like watch them both tonight and do our makeup for fun because yeah so i was gonna say like i'll probably be washing this up yeah anyways, but, and i don't hate it i'm being dramatic but um so that'll be fun yeah it'll be really fun we have a lot to do though so hopefully we can we get a lot to do like we said our, we have friends coming into town next weekend um and so we won't be able to like film or anything next weekend, which is fine, but that just means we have to do everything today, which is okay. Um, and then we're getting her done tomorrow, like we said, which will be nice. And it's my boyfriend's birthday tomorrow. Yes. So we're trying to do some fun things mm -hmm. for his birthday. Okay, I think that mat the mats look pretty good, so I think it's time for the shimmer. I'm going to go in with the oh and we have a clean coats update semi oh yeah I feel like we should oh we didn't even said the name well can have i say we? it now sure okay so um have we not i don't think so so our pet shampoo that we've been talking about for a while now it's called clean coats i don't know if we have said that um but we love the name have we said it now i'm like thinking back because we I haven't know. talked about it in quite some time maybe we did but anyway the name is clean coats it's kind of like a play on words because it's a clean quote unquote clean beauty not clean, clean beauty, clean like pet care brand, and it cleans the coats of the pets. So we love the name, and we finally finalized the formula after like so long. Yeah, I know, because I think we've been working on it since, well, the formula oh, was like January, January or more. Like before. over a year, you mean? No, I mean January of this year. Oh, really? I thought it was before that. I don't know. Why did I think January? I think it was before that, but maybe not. Um, it's just been a while and we've done like a lot of revisions. Do you have Q-tips? Finally, yeah, finally got it to what we think is a great place. We love it. And we... Oh, Terry like, loves it too. Did you hear it? <laughs> we placed the purchase order with our contract manufacturer, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And we're finalizing the bottle artwork now. Um, since we're not going to have secondary packaging, like legally you have to put the ingredient list on the primary packaging, which is the bottle. So that kind of like takes a while because most brands. Oh, I should have bought that palette. It's so pretty. I know. This is really pretty, isn't it? It's the Jackie Anna palette, right? Yeah. yeah. That's really pretty. This color is really pretty. It's exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. Wait, I um, love this shade. What does that look like? Yeah. They're all beautiful. Oh, they're so unique. Why didn't I buy this? I love this. I don't know. I love it. I, I, I treasure this one. She should re-release it. I know. Wait, that pink. You could have done like that pink eyeshadow that was going I around. I know. I was thinking that too. I want to do a look like that. that. I can yeah. still do it. Uh, but I want Sorry, greens. I'm getting distracted. I wanted greens today, and yeah. I love how this looks, truly. So I'm, like, super glad I used this. I'm just going to go in with more of the matte in the corner. Anyway, so... I'm going in with the NYX brow gel. I love this stuff. It's just, like, a one and done for me. Keep talking. Most of the brands that, like, we work with at work um, have secondary packaging. So that ingredient list is never, like, a rush to finalize because if you aren't familiar with, like, the regulatory process, which most people aren't and probably don't care what, I'm just going to, like, fill you in... You have to get the raw material compositional statements for every single raw material in the ingredient list because let's say an inky is, I don't know, what should I, like, what's a, like, citric, know, citric like acid? Even, no, like, even a lot of, a, like, a lot of actives. Most of the actives are, based are in, like, glycerin or water. Yeah, like, they're not just that inky. And then there are what's called incidentals. So these ingredients are like found in these complexes at an incidental level, which means that it's not added in there purposefully, but it's in it. And so the raw material compositional statement will like give you that breakdown. And then that's what you use to like build the ingredient list. So it's just, it's kind of like holding up our primary like packaging artwork because we need to finalize the yeah, ingredient basically list. Like Getting the I.O. finalized takes a while. Yeah. And when you do secondary packaging, you can usually proceed with your primary packaging order because the I.O. is going on your secondary packaging. Yeah. But for us, it's going on the primary. So. so all that to say, it's taking longer than we anticipated, but we are, you know, things are happening now, which is really exciting because I felt like we were, like, you know, testing formulas for a while. Not, like, not getting anywhere, but we had, like, a few people test because all dogs have, like, different hair and fur mm -hmm. and we wanted our product to work for a multitude of 
coats, obviously. But we also had like a vision for this product mm -hmm. and for this line in general. Like we just want there to be like actual active ingredients in it. Yes. Because that's kind of, you know, the way that us as consumers and, you know, like beauty shoppers have become so smart. And, yeah. you and know, like we truly, use like things that have actives on our faces mm -hmm. and in our bodies and like I our love this. our dogs just get like these like crappy <laughs> not crappy shampoos but you know I mean most of the time they are crappy you can say that yeah so we were like why does no one put like actives in yeah there? and truly no you guys like since we started the project our formula cost has like doubled because of the actives yeah that we, we keep added. adding more but yeah. like that's our, that's what we want to do so yeah it's, it is that's what we believe in but I think that's why we've I don't know if we said this but we've settled on like the larger bottle size but no, we, the smaller. Or sorry, the smaller bottle size. But we weighed it against like a 16 ounce shampoo, and the actual like density is the same. So our wash is super concentrated. So like mm -hmm. a little goes a really long way. And we'll obviously like put all this on the website, so it's very clear. Um, yeah, we have a lot that we'll like get into obviously when it gets closer. Yeah, but we're if you're super interested. excited. We're really excited. We are. We feel like really good about it. Yeah, we feel really passionate about this. Yeah, we have other plans, mm -hmm. so yeah, we can't wait to launch it, but right now, I guess I can't give a date, but we're thinking October, November. Yeah, because as you know, the, the bottles have to ship on over here, and that takes quite some time. Yeah, it takes about eight weeks on the ocean, and we are lucky because we live in Los Angeles, and yes, you know, from China to the port of LA is that like main route, and our filler is here too, mm -hmm. so... We have it like pretty good, but um, it's still a long trip because of everything going on right now. Yeah, I'm going in with the Revlon. Well, I put the the Essence primer on, and then I'm going in with the Revlon So Fierce mascara. I just got a new tube of this because I missed it, and you guys, this mascara is so good. It is really good. So I got a new lip product. So I basically, if I buy anything that Becca Sun recommends, like I like it. I actually just got the Pauline. How do you say it? Pauline? That big company you bought from? Oh, Pauline. I think. Pauline? I don't know. We had just Marine. Okay, that's true. I just got the same purse that she had. She had talked about it like, I want to say like six months or like eight months ago. And I had saved it and... I'm like, you know what? I really like that bag. I'm going to get it too. Like, I just, her taste matches, like, my taste. Um, and she recently talked about these, which I had never even heard of them. They're the Estee Lauder Pure Color Illuminating Shine Lipsticks. And she got, like, a mauve shade. And she just said, like, it's a really nice formula and no one talks about them. And so I was placing the Ulta order and I got the shade 902 Profound. Um, and it's, like, this beautiful, like rich like deep warm brown it's actually way darker than i thought it was going to be which is fine um i will say i definitely really like this but i thought it was going to be more of like a balmy moisturizing like tinted lip balm type product it's definitely like as pigmented as a lipstick and it definitely looks like a little shiny but it's not as shiny as i thought it was going to be and like she described it as like kind of like looking like you know like really like luscious and shiny like pretty like all I don't know if she said all day, but like I think that like finish lasted on her. For some reason on me, like I feel like the finish kind of goes away pretty quickly and I'm just left with sort of like a satin finish. But either way, I really like this formula and I'm glad I picked it up. But because it's so dark, I'm going to try pairing it with the, it's not dark dark, but it's darker than I thought. The MAC Cork Lip Pencil. Um, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm going to go in with the lip pencil first and then the Estee Lauder on top. I got like a ton of mascara um on my eyes but i love this eye combination and i'm proud of myself for trying something new because i know you guys can't get that jackie Ina palette anymore but if you have any like i don't know if i would call this a lime lime green eyeshadow i like this is so pretty i like want yeah. to do this again oh my lips are I've been so dry um oh and i need to put something in the inner corner let me see what i got i didn't bring a highlighter out here. Maybe there's something. I'm gonna use this Soleil shade from the Jackie Ina palette on the inner corner. Um, but what are you guys up to this month? I feel like 
this year is flying by. Now I think at the end of April, did we do a get ready? And we talked about like how we were so excited for May because it's usually a fun month. Yeah, and that's proven to be true. Especially like we said, our clean coats thing is like coming to fruition. Yeah. Yeah, it's been like really productive so far, I would say. Yeah. And I think we've been doing a lot, like staying busy. Like we talked about that mm -hmm. event we went to um, with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a, we were in the audience. We didn't go with him. It no, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not like BFFs. Yet. Um, yeah, see this formula? I actually don't know if I like it with this lip liner, but I want to try something. I feel like maybe it's too dark together. Yeah. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Color Reach Lip Pencil in the shade Mating Call. And then I'm going to layer on top with the shade Baby and the Merit Lipsticks. I never in my life thought I would like a pinky nude lip. But this one just pairs really well with like a cool tone nude liner. I'm going to swatch this for you guys on my hands so you can see what it looks like without the lip liner. Um, but as you can see, it is like a really pretty formula. And I don't, they are like not cheap, but the component's really nice. And I just don't know why more people don't talk about them. So it's like a really pretty warm brown. It's just very pretty. I'm glad I went with this shade. And I might pick up another one um, because I do really like the formula. Like I said, I just expected it like the shine to last longer and it doesn't last that long on me but this is it's really thin and really comfortable and i like it dare i say like if i had lip filler or was like 10 years younger this would be my favorite lip color because it's so pretty yeah it just re it's I really know, drying it's, it is pretty drying. so but paired with the merit it's like much better because this mm -hmm. is a little bit more of a satin yeah i wonder because anastasia has all those new lip liners and i've been like dying mm -hmm. to get them Me but too. they're all sold out after the sale i wonder if any of them like match that because they have so many shades yeah that. that's true or even mario did you see he launched like I want to say like eight additional shades. So now there's like 24 shades of his lip liner. Oh, really? Yeah. I but did they get good reviews? Yes. I feel like Casey tried them and she said that they were nice, but like nothing special. Hmm. Like she, I, I think, think she likes the Anastasia more. Interesting. But we'll have to try both. Maybe I don't hate my makeup. I just look a little shiny in some places, but yeah, but it's like 80 degrees outside. So that would make sense. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I'm just going to. I actually don't hate this lip combo. It's just dark, but I don't hate it. I it's love very nice. this eye. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love green eyeshadow though. Yeah. I think it's like the best eyeshadow. And it's so, always yeah, so I just like never think to use it. And like I said, I have those mm -hmm. Lipo cosmetic shadows. Well, do you have this green one too? No, I don't have the green. I have the rest. I know. Now that I love that Dior formula, they have one called Jungle, and it's a green palette, oh, and pretty. I like want it bad. Well, it's supposed to like accentuate green eyes, right? Um, I just like green shadow. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay. I think that's that. Overall, I guess the only new things that I tried were the Bare Minerals Bronzer and Kiss of Pink, and then the Rare Beauty Believe Blush. Highly recommend both. Love, 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 and the Jaclyn yeah. Powder, which I've already talked about, but I really love that. I love the Rum Beauty Liquid Shadow, so good. I really love this lip product, the Estee Lauder, so good. And then I'm still back and forth on the Say Concealer. Maybe it's it's good, but I don't know if it's like a home run for me. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.